when do we stop all this dinking, slow stuff, and start slamming the ball at each other? Okay. When, when you get the right opportunity. When it's up high. When If it's high, you die. Okay, I like that one. There you go. That's something to do. All right. Fed, what are you thinking about? When do you decide to um, go from dinking to, to speed up? Uh, I think it comes when you try to recognize defensive dinks to offensive dinks. So whenever you get a defensive dink, that means that's a right time to speed up. If you're being attacked, because it's not just speed ups every time, sometimes they're attacking you with dinks, and this means they're moving you around, they're giving you offensive dinks that are not really attackable, okay? So once you recognize that defensive dink, that's when you maybe <laughs> try to attack. Yeah. yeah. So is there a certain height of ball that you're sort of looking for? Obviously, what he means by defensive dink is it's not something that's putting you under a tremendous amount of pressure. You have some time, you might be in good balance. Um, what are you What are you looking for in terms of height of ball as well? I mean, it needs to be somewhere uh, on top of my knee, around my hip. That's something that I can attack. Anything that is below my knee is not really attackable. And if you do it, they're gonna be ready for it. There's different sort of zones, right? And the stuff that Fed attacks and the stuff that I attack is going to be different than the stuff that, that you attack, right? At this level, we just did a bunch of dinking, right? And we realized that after a few dinks, we're generating some pop-ups, right? So if I knew that if I dink five balls in a row, I'm going to get a ball for here, I would never attack a ball from here. Right, but at our level, unfortunately, that doesn't happen anymore. Fed never dinks me a ball to right here, unfortunately. Rob Cassidy might, but Fed won't. Um, <laughs> we can edit that out, right? <laughs> we attack something a little bit different, right? So we're looking for a ball right now that I think we can make contact with above the level of the net. We don't want to swing down. We want to swing through. Meaning, if I have a ball that's at this height, my paddle would go across the net like this. It wouldn't come down and smack the net because the net's the number one thing that we want to avoid. So, the drill that we're going to do is it'll be Fed and I will be going straight ahead. I'm the only person that can initiate a speed up okay so we're gonna dink until fed gives me an opportunity and then we'll attack okay so the question was we're assuming we don't want the paddle to come way back right which is a great question um, we can generate a tremendous amount of power from here forwards right once we start getting our paddle way back, we lose a lot of control and it takes a lot more time to get all the way through our swing. So a really good question. We don't want that paddle still to come out of our vision. If you liked today's video, please feel free to share it with a friend and make sure to subscribe. It helps me out and helps me grow my channel.